got to learn how to engage if you want to take off speedily this month. That's number one. You must engage. Start. Some of you are engaged, but you are parked in one place. You're not moving. I can start my car and the car is just running. It's not going to do me no good if I don't get in that car and put it on drive and move forward and hit the accelerate button and I begin to drive. Some of you, your life is just stagnant. You're not moving. That's why people are speeding and passing and moving ahead of us because you are telling your stuff to everybody and you're still wondering, should I do this one or this person gave me this advice? This one gave me this advice. That one gave me that advice. You're listening to too many things that is making you not to really focus on where you are going. Divine speed. Number two. You must keep focus if you need to be found in divine speed this year. Paul said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Philippians 3.10 You must engage to know him and you must keep focus that I may know him. You got to have a desire to know more. Don't be satisfied by where you are. You can never have divine speed. The lady who went to do the, 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 the gym, I don't know what they call that flip thing. The little young lady, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, give me her name. Gabby, that did the, the thing. The other one, Simone. Simone, somebody, you know, she, she was telling her story and she says she was engaged in so much training. She broke herself sometimes. She fell down and she was, her family was like, you got to stop this because you're going to mess your life up. She said, no, I got to keep fighting. I'm keeping focus. I'm not going to get discouraged. As long as you fall, you get up, you try again. Because where you are going, there is a prize that is ahead of you. Paul said, I keep my eyes on the mark. I'm looking forward to the things that is ahead of me I'm leaving back the things that are behind me for the price that is ahead of me somebody said move forward you gotta keep focus when you're driving on the highway you gotta keep focus that's why I tell people please when you're driving on a highway on 70 miles per hour please don't be texting and because you want to keep your eyes on the road because anything can happen at any time that's the same thing spiritually when you're moving with God you want to keep your eyes focused you don't want anything to deter yourself because the moment you deter yourself the enemy steps in and take advantage of you the enemy comes in and destroy your life the moment you're not praying, the moment you're not fasting, you gotta keep focus, you gotta keep moving. I must get to that point, I must get to that price. You gotta keep wasting. Don't waste your time listening to who talk good about you, who talk bad about you, who is against you. Just keep your eyes focused. You gotta keep moving. It don't matter whether you're nice, whether you're good looking or you're not good looking. It don't matter how they define you. It's not the opinion, it's not what they say. You gotta keep focus. Somebody says, keep moving. You got to keep your eyes focus focus because there's so many distractions there's so many negativities there's so many things that would detour you would deter you from your focus from your destiny but as long as you keep your eye I don't care what's going on here they may call me names they may say I'm no good they may say I'm ugly they may say you are bad they may say whatever I'm just moving I'm just moving because there is a price there's something that I need to get to there's a place I need to get to there's somewhere I'm trying to achieve there's something I need to get to somebody say speed you got to learn how to be focused if you want God to speed up your life got to learn how to keep focus negative things are the issues have got the potentials in you to slow you down Negative things are negative people. They've got that potential to slow you down. Are you sure you're going to finish that school? You're already 50. Negative. Are you sure you're going to get married? You are already in your 60. You tell them, look at the president of France. The man is 40 something or 30 something. His wife is 60. 60 plus. 
Pastor James, don't you think you need to close this church? Because the bills are so high, I don't see no people here. God is with me. The Bible says, and I will build my church and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. I don't care whether if it's one person, I don't care whether it's two persons, I don't care how many number is here, as long as Jesus is here, as long as the Spirit of God is here, I keep focused on where I'm going. My assignment is to preach. It's not to count the number of the people. God said, keep my eyes on the cross and that's where I'm going. Somebody says, speed. Ready to speed up my life. Paul said in Philippians 3 14, he says, I'm pressing forward towards the mark, the mark of high calling. I'm pressing forward the goal for the prize of the upward. There is a prize that is ahead of you, something that you know is tangible. That at the end of it, you look back, you say, Thank God I went through what I went through. Thank God I went through the disappointment. Thank God I went through the pain thank god they left me hanging thank god my friends left me thank god my friends left me those i counted on thank 